This is a script that we designed for a class that was going to be taught online using Google Hangout. And uh, the students uh, had read an article and they were preparing for the next session where they would um, invite the author of that article to the class to ask questions. Um, this was also just before exams and the teacher wanted the student to prepare for the exam and work especially uh, with some of the concepts that they've mapped in the class. Um, so we're going to start with um, adding some items to a visual organizer that we want the students to try to organize and then we'll organize them all as a class. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to use the quiz but what we're asking the students to do is to um, to answer some questions and we'll look at what they answer. Uh, we will um, also start um, brainstorming some uh, uh, some answers to some, some definitions and then they'll do that individually and then we will look at all the definitions. Um, first we will just um, look at them and then the second time and, uh, we will actually try to vote and see what the class thinks is the best definition for the concept um, that we're looking for. So I'm going to start this graph and the first uh, is just a teacher activity to prepare. So we have here um, this kind of visual organizer uh, with four different um, categories and uh, as a teacher, I'm going to add some different concepts that I want the students to organize. So I'm not going to put them in the right place. Um, some of them will be in the right place, some of them will not be, and it's up to the students later to then see where they should be. Um, so I'll quickly add some Okay, so we have some items, and um, we later will ask the students to uh, see where they should place those items. So now uh, we can uh, start the graph for the students and we can invite the students in. I've got uh, four virtual students here. Um, I'm going to make this window large so you can see it better. So we have just a, a little background slide and uh, we're asking them three questions. Uh, so we might say, uh, now while uh, the students are uh, working, the teacher can uh, look at different dashboards because uh, in an online class, it's very hard to know how the students are progressing. Uh, so we have, for example, here a dashboard showing live as the students are uh, typing in. So you can just see how that works here if I'm uh, starting to answer, type in my answer here. And you'll see that the dashboard actually updates live. Um, we also have a progress dashboard, um, which is tracking the progress of the different students. Uh, and we have some other dashboards as well. So um, the students are answering these questions and when uh, the teacher is uh, happy, we can go to the next activity, um, which then basically shows the dashboard that the teacher was looking at, but is now sharing this to the whole um, student population so that they can look at the different answers to each question and uh, discuss which one is, is more appropriate. This activity was to take the concepts that the teacher had seeded and uh, ask the students individually to see where they would um, place the different concepts. So this is how it would look for one student. And so I will say this one should maybe go here, and this one maybe here. Um, as we're seeing when we are seeing um, these four windows, um, these are not coordinated. So each student is working individually. And after a certain time, the teacher says, now we are going to do the same thing. Um, but as a class, and now um, everyone can see what everyone is doing. Now, if everyone just uh, starts moving randomly, this will be quite messy. So the plan was for the teacher to facilitate this and, and say, well, Andrea, what do you think? Where did you put it? And, and so on. Afterwards, um, the students are asked this question, and uh, they can uh, submit their answers. While they're submitting their answers, again, we have a progress dashboard. Here we see that 50% uh, of the students are, have completed this task, which of course is two or four students in our case. Um, and we can then go on to uh, display these two items that were submitted and discuss them. And for the final task, um, we're also asking them a question, but uh, in this case, we'll, we'll do a little of both. So I would say, uh, 
So in this case, it's the same input as the previous one, but as we can see, they're now in a list. Um, we can still edit if we want to add some context. We can um, vote up or down. And if the students feel like there is a new definition that would be more appropriate, they can still add. So all of this is, of course, configurable. Yeah, that was um, the wrap that we've been 